Hello everyone, it's me, the Fattinger Geek, and welcome to King Kong Week, Episode 4. King Kong vs. Godzilla, the English version. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I prefer the Japanese version of the English version for particular reasons. I like original concept better because, like, uh, with, with uh, English versions of movies, the... the the, the Americans think that we're just too stupid to learn about, like, how, what happened in Gojira. Gojira. So, yeah. <clears throat> As, uh, James Rolfe said, he's, uh, he's, he said that, uh, they're gonna digest it all for us dumb American audiences. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that they did it with this film, too, but, but, uh, that was my computer. Anyways, like, I don't know why they did that, but, yeah, we're gonna go right into King Kong vs. Godzilla, the English version, and I'm gonna tell you all about it, so, let's get right into it. Hello, guys, um... Now that we're into the English version, I'm going to tell you the differences, and I'm not going to tell you the plot. This is this episode is going to be really short, all right? The next one's going to be a little bit longer. So, um let's get on with the uh the uh English actors. Now, these English actors, I don't know their real names, but one of them is Eric Carter or whatever or Cartman, I don't I don't know. But he is supposed to be like a news reporter, sort of like Steve Martin in the first film. But not as awesome. But yeah, um, then there's uh, the difference between the Japanese and English version with uh, the music. The music is nowhere to be seen from the Japanese version or to be heard in the English version except for King Kong's theme. Even in the title, they don't have the main theme for the title screen of the Japanese version. And here's another thing. Uh, did you know that King Kong vs. Godzilla was meant to be really Godzilla vs. Frankenstein or King Kong vs. Frankenstein? Well, you probably heard that now since James Rolfe talked about it. So, now that we got that out of the way, um, the, uh, music, it's just recycled footage from the Wolfman and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Just classic horror film music that I wouldn't expect from a Godzilla movie. Only in a horror film. It does fit, though, but I just don't like the music as much as the Japanese version. I mean, I, I, I just like Japanese version of films with their own with their original music a little better than English versions. Now the English version with the English actors now the scene where the US Seahawk is on um, the ocean toward running to going towards Godzilla at the uh, iceberg the um, actors from the Japanese version are dubbed and they sound better than the Japanese version, but still, I think that the Japanese version sound a lot better because it's funny. I mean, it's really supposed to be a comedy in the Japanese version, so... Why not? Why not have a funny-sounding captain in a submarine Seahawk or whatever? So, yeah, um... And then there's the, uh, thing about, uh... You know, the music music fits um do the voices sound like the pers people themselves in the original sort of mr taco sounds a little bit a little bit uh mr taco sounds like uh sounds pretty much like he did in the japanese version and the english version but yeah that's pretty much the difference between the japanese and the english version which do i prefer Japanese. I don't prefer the English version. I knew I grew up with the English version on VHS. 
I just grew to like the Japanese version better because it's just I like original Japanese like the original video without it being dissected yeah like I said the movie in the English version they cut out a lot of the scenes like they did with the original Godzilla and I didn't like that so yeah so this has concluded today's review for King Kong week and I'll see you guys later